What is going on today, guys? We are here for our first episode in the off-camera horde night thing. Um, I decided to do off-camera horde nights again. Um, this is a different world. Uh, same basic design as far as the bases go. Um, it's uh, a 15 by 30 main base. And then the same basic concept with just a bigger opening in the back here for the horde base. So we got our blade traps. I got three shotgun turrets ready to go, which I put bars in front of them, hopefully to block the the cops from spitting on them and destroying them. And as you can see, I got the relays tucked in behind the wall there. So again, they can't be damaged. Now, I'm not 100% sure when horde knight's actually supposed to kick off. Um, I do not have a pocket watch, unfortunately. So I know it should be relatively soon here so I'll take you guys through just a little bit of what we got going on uh, as far as the weaponry goes ignore this extra crap in my inventory it's a cluster chaos kind of thing I got going on but anyway um, the weapons I got a little combat shotgun here with just a reflex mod on it and I'm shooting slugs out of it uh, I've been using the regular buckshot rounds for the for the turrets, so I'm not going to be using them in the shotgun, just going to be using the slugs. The AK's got a couple simple mods on it, a 2x, a foregrip, and a mag extender, and then I also have an AR-15, which I crafted, and that's got the reflex mod, it's also got the bipod, the rad remover, and it's got a full auto mod in it, so... That's basically all I could throw together for this first Horde Knight, it hasn't been great as far as looting for weaponry goes and then all this ammo I bought from the trader so but anyway we got pretty much everything we need to survive the first horde night as soon as it kicks off we're gonna power on the generator here and get our blade trap spinning and get our shotgun turrets ready to go so as you can see I put a row of of the bars out here as well to go over top of my log spikes which I have slightly upgraded and then I have some barbed wire out front here to slow down the zombies so the shotgun turrets can just rain rain hell down on them but hopefully it's gonna go good I'm I'm not not a hundred percent sure it's been quite a while since I've since I've done a horde night on this game so I guess we'll have to hope for the best and find out. We do have a little bit of like patching resources on us. We got uh, some iron and steel. We also got the mechanical parts, electrical parts, uh, cobblestone, a little bit of concrete on us as well. Um, so we can, if these do get hit, we can repair them as well as the, the relays and the blade traps as well. We also have the concrete for in case they start to bust through down here. We can run on down and patch them babies on up as well. Uh, now eventually I do want to put more turrets in on here. And I do want to do some some more work to the horde base itself. Make it, uh, make it bigger and, you know, kind of add to the design of it. I don't really want the barbed wire up. I'd rather have the electric fence on, to be honest. But didn't have the time to get everything done. And, well, Horde Knight's got to be, like, right suddenly because of how that looks. But I do eventually want to stretch electrical fence out here. Uh, not in, like, any sort of perfect way, but I want to have, like, a line right here so the shotgun turrets can hammer it. And then I want to have a line further out and around so our... SMG or AK turrets can can rain some hell down on them as well. Eventually I will make junk turrets. Uh, I do want to place junk turrets down here in the back. So in case something does get past the blade traps, the junk turrets can also fire on them as well. Uh, just kind of as like a rear protection. But it's starting. So as you can see, they are spawning in. And they just disappeared. That must have been a roaming horde coming, not not an actual uh, not the actual horde night horde coming. But but anyway, here they come. Let's get to to killing. 
night stalkers. Oh, I hate them. I had a just before I started the video, I had a Roman or a, actually a screamer horde. It was come in, and it was uh, night stalkers and uh, cops, and then radiated dogs. So it was a real shit storm of a of a wander or a screamer horde, not a wander horde. The shotgun turrets are doing pretty good. Um, let me actually turn up the gamma a little bit because it is a, a little bit dark. I like it to be nice and bright so you guys can see exactly what's going on here. I think I'm actually going to switch sides too. We can get some shots on it. Hauling. Can't really hit him very good. I'm pretty bad. Oh, reload. We'll take all what we can get in the blade traps and the shotgun traps. We'll do, we'll do the rest for us. Wow, that one was just a hook in it. Holy crap. Forget how fast the ferals actually move. Here comes a fire one. Oh, it's a feral burn victim. Man, that was weird. I thought I was getting a demon for a minute. I was like, that would have been pretty neat. Oh man, I cannot hit nothing. Oh my god, I am horrible. We'll just shoot at what we can hit and let, let our defenses do the rest. Oh my god, I can't hit Jack. Oh my god, I'm horrible. Absolutely 100% horrible. You stay down. I hate that it doesn't automatically reload. You actually have to reload it. Come on. They quit jogging back and forth like they are. That would help out a little bit as well. Come on, here comes dogs. He, he must be in the barbed wire. You can hear him screaming. Alright, let's swap out for the AK. AK's got our AP. 7.62, which honestly, I don't think I should be wasting them. It's actually swap. Comes a cop. Come on, There we go. Where are you going? nothing's gotten through that's good news let's take a moment to patch up our blade traps here if we can reach them should be able to reach them have this set up so I could and now it's not letting me reach them what's that oh should have known okay all right Stupid frickin' vultures. I hate the vultures. I can never hit them. Never. never. Absolutely never hit them damn things. 
All right, where are they coming from now? Over here. And I totally missed that. Dire wolf. Stupid frickin' vultures. More of them. Oh, of course. Not loaded. So this must be like animal wave plus uh, other sort of stuff like that. Another dire wolf. Well, dire wolves you can actually harvest for meat and stuff, so those will come in handy. I wonder if we can reach our turrets from the front here. There we go. Want to make sure we're not losing any turrets. That would be that would be a shame. There we go. They look like they're do they're in pretty good shape yet, so don't have to worry about it. Oh shit! I do that way too often. Way too often. What, are they coming from that way again now? Oh man, the shotgun turrets are absolutely destroying the hell out of this thing. Jesus. Everything's just getting like splattered. Gotta say, I'm definitely replacing this this 2x mod with a with a regular reflex sight after this horde night. I'm not a big fan. Not a big fan of like the tunnel vision sort of effect that it gives you when you're zoomed in. Get one of these, heal up a little bit, and oh, screamers! Oh, that's not good. Oh man, this shotgun. That's a big bad screamer there. Off, oh, reload, come on. Uh, I think one of them just screamed at me. Man, these shotgun turrets, oh my god. Get over here, hopefully we can see him a little better. And... Boy. Yeah, I'm not too good at shooting, apparently. Not too good at all. Wish we had hollow point rounds for this. Hollow points are, are amazing for these soft targets like this. Because this is just a female zombie wave. Reload, come on. Definitely need an extended mag mod for this. Yeah, the reloading is... Come on. Oh, reload. Damn it. <laughs> oh, here comes another bad screamer. And I missed. Oh, 
all in all, I'd say this isn't going too bad. Something's getting past their blade trap, so... All in all, I'd say this is definitely a, a success so far. Now if I could just shoot a little bit better, this would be, this would be really great. Oh man. Doing, doing all right. Man. Good thing we're up here though and the screamers apparently won't scream at us. Can you imagine how many zombies we'd be getting? Okay, I just lied. One of them just screamed at us. Ooh, that's a legendary zombie. See that, that one right there. 800 HP, wow. Already on the first Fortnite, we're seeing legendary zombies. That's, that's not good. Something's beating on something. Maybe not. Before I heard something beating on metal. That's what it sounded like. Reload. Oh man, I need that. I need that bandolier mod. Okay, that was pretty cool. Shooting that one in the legs like that and watching her like do the flips. That was pretty cool. Wow, they just keep coming. Oh man, that was awesome. And we leveled up again. Oh god. They won't stop. Oh, I gotta repair. I think this horde, uh, or this wave here, goes through the rest of the night. Uh, if I remember right, you get a couple, like, different waves, and then the last wave is generally... Uh, it just goes through till the end of your horde night for ya. Oh, reload. Kind of nice having the pile of bodies down there to slow, slow the majority of them down. Oh, mutated nurse there. Another one. Now this ain't good. We're getting some. Uh, later game stage zombies that means next horde night we're gonna have uh we're probably gonna have our first demolisher come which i don't like that idea too much to be perfectly honest i could do without the demolishers for a few hordes yet it also means we're probably gonna start seeing a lot more of the mutated and legendary ones 
We're also going to be seeing the feral whites coming. And we'll probably see, like, uh, the zombie bear horde come in. Which is a real goofy, real goofy horde. I mean, that just always throws me for a loop seeing them coming in. That's going pretty good. Look at that stack of loot bags we got to get, though. Oop, legendary one right there. I wonder how much the legendary zombies give you XP-wise. Might as well reload while there's a little break in the action. Everything got through to our, our turrets and our blade traps there. I don't know why those bullets weren't hitting her. We were seeing blood come off of her, but... Those bullets were apparently duds or something. Ooh, that was a good shot. Oh, that one screamed at us. Jeez, there's just no stopping them. This is this is probably my favorite part of this mod. The, the Horde Knights, uh, when you actually uh, take the time to play through the Horde Knights, the full Horde Knight, you get so many zombies and they are just an absolute monster. Okay, that was just bad shooting that time. Alright, let's switch back to this. One thing I don't like about the AR-15 is you actually have to zoom out of your optic to reload. I'm not sure why it's like that, but you actually have to zoom out of the optic to be able to reload the gun. Unlike with the AK, the AK reloads and goes right back into the optic. This one does not. Oh, another one just yelled at us. Oh, that one's gone. Gone like a gone like the frickin' wind that one was. Holy crap. Oops. Reload, come on. Hey, don't be beating on stuff. Ah, uh, reload. Come on, come on. <laughs> wow. How many more are gonna come? Holy cow. It's gotta be about over, you think. I mean, we've... I don't know how many loot bags are down there, but... At like a 20% drop, I think it is. We got, we've had to have killed 500 or more of these zombies ourselves.
And they just still keep coming. Ooh, right in the leg. Oh, reload. My bullets go in there. Holy cow. No stopping them tonight, that's for sure. There's they're on a mission like nothing else here. Ah. Wow, we're we're really going through the ammo too. Ooh. Come on, die. Oh, that's it. No more spawning. That is it. Holy crap. Look at that. This is absolutely nuts. That blade trap got shut down here, but that's okay. We can repair him up and, oh no, keep doing that. Wow. Apparently our blade traps and stuff did more than, more than I thought, Jesus. Let's get down there and actually check this out now, because holy crap. Wow. Yeah, I think our blade traps and stuff got as many kills as us. Because, holy crap, that is that is nuts. That is a lot. Wow. Okay, well, first let's drop our bike. Now we're going to need... Uh, Either the machete or the chainsaw to clear gore piles. And let's start looting and let's see what we get out of this because this is absolutely freaking nuts. I didn't think that these got that many kills. I thought we did a better job uh, controlling the zombies than we did, but apparently we did not. Lots of gore piles. Lots of gore piles. So many body bags. Jeez. Holy crap. Yeah. I forgot how... Just how nutty Horde Knights could be on here. Because, man... I won't deny it, I was not, did not remember it being like this. <laughs> yes, it's been a while, but even still, man, to say I was expecting this much, I'd have been lying. Level 56 now with, what is that, 18 skill points? Holy crap. Hey, we got ourselves a better AK. Jeez. That was a nasty lock up again. Lots of crap to salvage down to. I was hoping we'd get some, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, Wow, why can I not think of it? Uh, black dye. That's all I'm waiting for to get my next class unlocked is black dye. That's it. That's all I need. A little bit of... Ooh, there we go. We got our first uh, research note. That's fabulous. Uh, that way we can start working on them here. Right, right when we get... Ooh, barrel extender mod. That's nice. Nice boots, too. 
These are garbage. I scrapped them. I don't bother with them quests. I actually hardly ever bother with quests in this mod, to be honest. I, I don't know why. Um, I think mainly because I'm not used to the POIs, so I kind of want to just do my own exploring of them and pick which ones I hit, but... Man, this is... This is Beyond words, for sure. I mean, it just—I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a drop chest, at least one, at least one, because like holy cow. Ooh, another nice mod. That's awesome. More garbage shoes. Man, I I think it's safe to say that our our defense has definitely put the work in this time, that's for sure. They they did work. I mean I think it's safe to say that our between our uh our blade traps and our shotgun turrets, they definitely, definitely killed more than we did tonight. For sure. Oh, yeah, look at all that goodies. All right, we need a drop chest. Uh, do I have wood on me? I do. We need to get rid of something here, though. Don't know why I even have them on me. Or that. Um, we're going to need a couple. Yeah, let's go to. And I'm just going to stick them right here and there for now because that'll work. Um, I want to keep my my stuff on me, but don't get it mixed up. Wow. Yeah, the ammo can go. I don't care about the ammo right now. And to be honest, I don't think we even had too much damage from from all these guys either so we're really curious to take a look at that uh, maybe we should do that here we'll actually stop looting and we'll take a look at what they actually did for damage and see how that looks it doesn't look like they did a whole lot I mean and this might actually be from from our own shooting or the shotgun turrets even maybe that one we repaired already else over here well, these took just slight damage I don't think any zombie blew up like I don't think we had any sort of uh, exploding zombies that I know of anyway yeah hardly any damage here Yeah, this is not. Oh, by the way, if you guys are wondering why this block isn't here, uh, it's one of the ones where you can't place anything in it. Yeah, I found one as I was making my my horde base, so that was absolutely fantastic. Get just about done, and it's like, oh yeah, you can't place a block there. It's like, crap. Uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. I will work on finishing looting and removing the gore piles and. We'll see you guys back here on this on this world for the next Horde Night again. But thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys appreciated the video and you liked it. Uh, if you guys are enjoying them, make sure you guys smash that like button for me. Comment down below with your thoughts on how the Horde Night went. Any sort of suggestions for the base would be would be well received by me because you know, like I like I mentioned before, I'm not the most creative. What, is this one going to hatch or something? It's shaking. Ah, but anyway, I'm not the most creative, but I think I do design pretty, ah, uh, pretty decent functional stuff anyway. But if you guys have any sort of tips or tricks on the base, want to see me do something specific, let me know in the comment section. I'll be more than willing to give it a try on this world here and see what we can do with it so uh again thank you guys so much for being here 
and we will catch you guys for the next one of these on this world.